pardon, Priestess, but you've been staring out across Ashenvale for hours. I sent something dark stirring within the forest, Chandras. It feels as if it's heading this way. The Greenskins who killed Cenarius? Perhaps. Perhaps something more. Put your backs into it. Jaina and the Orc War Chief expect this base to be built swiftly. Ah, we shouldn't even be here. No siding with the Orcs. We're here to hunt the remaining demons, human. You're lucky our goals are the same. All right, you men. Mind your business. Back to work. So, these Orcs and humans presume to run rampant through our lands? They will regret ever stepping foot into Ashenvale. We will establish a base and deal with these outlanders as they deserve. Okay, we are finally playing as the Night Elves. Let's get started on this now. Playing as the Night Elves are a little bit different, of course. The Tree of Life is the heart of our Night Elf villages. Use the tree's ability to entangle the gold mine. After entangling the mine, send wisps in to extract gold. We need to entangle a gold mine. Boom. Wisps are used basically as our peasants or peons or whatever. But uh, a couple of differences. Check this out. They are... Wisps are friendly spirits that harvest gold and lumber for our villagers. They also create the structures that allow us to train more warriors. They are, um, like, right now they're harvesting lumber. They're harvesting lumber without cutting any trees down. I, these trees will never go away, and I can just keep harvesting them. They can't just mine a gold mine like humans or orcs can. They have to sort of... Uh, build up this thing around it, like the undead do. But unlike the undead, where um, one of the one of the cult members would be able to summon something up, you have to use this thing, the Tree of Life, which is essentially our town hall, to go and do that. Now, these buildings are capable of uprooting themselves and then moving. Check that out. Ain't that nuts? I mean, they're slow as hell. But they're capable of moving, so playing as the Night Elves is probably the most different type of gameplay that you're going to experience in this game. Like, the Night Elves... Ah, shit, I have to re-entangle that gold mine, don't I? Shit, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Ah, uh, I, I think maybe when I uprooted the Tree of Life, it went and undid the gold mine. Also take note that Someone threatens the wild. all of our units, well, we only have two right so now, but most all of our units are going to be ranged units, not melee. So it's like, you're, you're not going to get up close and personal in fighting these battles. You're going to be attacking from a range. Now the Tree of Life and the other units like that, the buildings, are going to have... Uh, They're going to go and be able to attack melee. Not all of them, but some of them. <laughs> so it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. And you can scout the out an area. Alright, let's go in there and get some gold. Um, moon wells are the we source of our nourishment and strength. You can build additional moon wells to nourish more troops. I'm gonna train another wisp. That way, I don't have to take the one off of harvesting. Wow, this thing's got a long lifespan to it. I can practically explore the entire map with one. Sure. 
Moonwell, Ancient of War, Moonwell. Ah, shit. Fine. Freaking Harvest Gold. Same thing as with the Undead. You can only have five units harvesting or mining gold. Um... Same thing, I think, goes on with both the humans and the orcs, but... Train more troops. Construct an ancient of war. I think there's a difference... Uh, there's a difference with the human and the orcs, which have the traditional units, which have to walk back and forth between the town hall and the gold mine. I think if you have too many of them, like more than five, trying to access the gold mine at one time... Some of them will have to just sort of stand outside waiting to be able to gain access to it. But because there's the walk in between, it's, uh, it tends not to clog you up as much. Although, this clearly, you, you gain gold faster with this method than you do with having units that have to walk back and forth. Alright. Ancient of War. This is our barracks. Everything just sort of grows. And this thing is just going to keep producing lumber. It seems a little slow. But it never takes, since it never takes trees down, it's alright. And another wisp. Come on now. The goddess calls. Your move. Point the way. On your mark. Ooh, I'm all a quiver. Fear my leap skills. Let's move. Five meter spread, no sound. I'm more than a ranger. I'm a night ranger. I'm not just some plucky girl you can string along. My release date's been changed. <laughs> the building is complete. Shot through the heart, and I'm to blame. I said a bow string, not a G. Oh, never mind. Waiting on you. Alrighty. Looks like uh, the wisps get used up as you construct things, so, you know, that's a bit of a pain in the ass. This shouldn't take too long to build. Archer. Your basic unit's an archer. Long range. Create more moves. It does use up gold. Unlike uh, harvesting lumber, which doesn't. Come on now. Come on now. Create more moon. Your building is complete. Oh, I got that wisp back. Just in case I lose my hero here. Uh, what was I about to do? Huh. Uh, I guess I'm gonna get held up for a bit so let's just get me some gold I gotta train a bunch of units insufficient gold damn it <laughs> okay slay the paladin now the humans and the orcs are though not perfectly well I mean they, they do seem to be operating uh, with each other to a certain degree. I mean, the cooperation isn't tenuous in any way. It's, it's a little tenuous, but it's not, um, it's not outright hostility. They're working together against the Burning Legion. Well, despite this, 
the elves or the dark elves are not the dark elves that's a everquest thing <laughs> the night elves here look at them as being just outright hostile and want to go over there and kill them we have to kill that paladin uh, we probably have enough okay. units to do that I'm gonna train the once this moon wells completed someone threatens the wild I'll uh, uh you know what I'll, I'll have more units trained up oh shit Kelly Ripper. Bad to lose a unit. And that's a problem when it comes to... The humans attacked. <laughs> that's a problem when we start having... Uh, your base unit being ranged. Ranged units in general aren't as good for... Uh, fighting melee units. Once they get up close, it tends to get dangerous for them. The goddess calls. And that's something we're just going to have to live with. Is. Let's go do some killing. So be it. Immediately. As the goddess wills. By Elune. I stand ready. Immediately. In the name of the Trolls. And a raider. A new Dora. Oh, it's a lumber mill. Destroy. Nothing really to upgrade. I'll just train more units. Someone threatens the wild. Oh, that's taking a while. Get some siege units. That'd be nice. That was another gold mine. Even though this is like the beginning of... They have to wind back the difficulty a bit when it comes to these missions here because, I mean... If they stuck you in a really difficult mission in the beginning when you're first just starting to play as the Night Elves, you're not going to be able to do it because the way that they play is significantly different. So they have to wind back the difficulty a bit. But it's not like the missions in the very early games or like Warcraft 1 or 2 where your first missions are usually like build four farms and that kind of crap. It's... The missions are a little bit more complicated at this point, because so even if everything is changing, they the can't just, like, treat you like an idiot. They gotta, they gotta give you some challenge. Uh, let's go kill that paladin. Or give it a try, at least. Bandu Thoribas mortals, you will pay for defiling these lands. Oh boy, this is not gonna work out. Oh, it was more than I thought. Oh, man, I wasn't looking at the humans as being units I had to worry about. Oh, yeah, I'm not making it here. I'm going to let that whole thing fall apart, though. Oh, I lost my hero. Our champion has fallen. Hmm. Oh well. On your mark. Humans and orcs working together. So I'm ain't right about that. Waiting on you. Point the way. Your move. Point the way. Okay, I'm um, so prepared to make another swing at this. I have more units. Though I did kind of get jumped along the way. We'll be alright, I think. Ah, shit. <laughs> ah, this whole no melee unit thing really fucks me up.
That's ah, working out alright, I guess. In the name of Scenarius. They don't have any defensive towers, it looks like, so that's good. So be it. Waiting on you. The goddess calls. Ah shit. That's bad news. Our champion has fallen. I stand ready. On your mark. That is another irritating thing when it comes down to um, when you go and start off into a new area. The hero units you have aren't very um, powerful because they're still at level one. But, you know. Okay, I'm bringing a tree of war or an ancient of war. In, in order to bolster my uh, attack force. I also have a much larger group here, so let's go and do some killing. I heed the voice of Damn it! I hate that shit. Someone threatens the wild. I'll give it a shot. Okay, looks like I caught the. I caught him at kind of a. Well, he was standing off by himself, so. As soon as this uh, barrier falls, I should be able to take him out. Since I'm taking I'm attacking him while he's off by himself. Alright. Get him. <laughs> Just slaughtering his way through my archers. Got him. Sisters, back to the trees. We are no match for a force this fast. <laughs> 